bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. In the word of God this morning, I thank God. 2 Corinthians 5. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, the word of God says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. I remember a while back when a, a man of God, amen, Elder Pena, I remember he asked a question. He said, What is the opposite of faith? Now, in our minds, amen, well, in my mind, the opposite of faith was, you know, doubt. <laughs> and, you know, he answered the question, praise God. He said, The opposite of faith is sight. The opposite of faith is sight. It's not doubt. It's sight. Many times people want to, you know, uh, go by what they see. You know, let me see. I got to see. That's the opposite. Thank you, Lord God of faith. And here the word of God is letting us know that we walk by faith. We're not walking by sight. We're walking by faith. And what that means is that we're living in a way that is consistent. Consistent with the confident belief in God's promises. Even when we can't see it. Because we're not going to always see it. We won't always see a thing. Amen. But I bless God. It means for us to keep moving. We got to keep moving forward. Amen. And I bless God this morning still to encourage us. Amen. We were talking about, amen, according to your faith. But amen, the word, amen, we want to give you this morning. It's already done. I know we're playing this song, amen, by Anita Wilson. For those of you, praise God, that's listening by way of YouTube, amen, go in. Hear that song, amen, by Anita Wilson. Amen. It's already done because you know what? It is already done. And I thank God. God, amen, this morning, just to share with you a word of encouragement. Thank you, Father. It's already done. It's already done. Walk it out. Walk it out. It's already done. Amen. The word of God in 1 Thessalonians 5:18. it tells us in everything. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now, why would we say that? Amen. We say it because that's what the Word of God says. But amen, when you think about it, God said in His Word that we are to give Him thanks, give Him praise in everything. Everything, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's taking place in your life. He said in everything, give thanks. Give thanks. It's the will. It's the will of God in Christ Jesus. It's the will of us. Amen. The will of God for us to give him praise, to give him glory. Y'all already know. Go back and look at Jehoshaphat. Amen. Praise God. Although he was told the battle wasn't his, it's the Lord's. And understand that still again, he said, you don't have to fight in that battle, but go out. You still got to go meet your opponent. But when he went out, what did he do? He appointed some worshipers. What he did, he was giving thanks to God. God, giving thanks. Thank you, Lord. He gave thanks to God right after hearing the word of God. What was spoken, he bowed his knee. Y'all go back and read it. Thank you, Lord God, in 2 Chronicles 20. But I still thank God because still even here, just confirmation of what God is saying. He says in, in everything. Everything, give thanks, give praise. You get up in the morning, thank you, Lord. You're thanking God. You get up in the morning, God, I thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for my family. Thank you for watching over. Thank you for keeping us. I don't know what's happening, uh, coming before me for this day, but you know what? I'm getting up giving thanks already to God. Amen. For his goodness, his grace, his mercy. Thank you, Lord God. But let's go in the word. Amen. Praise God. We already in the word, but y'all know what I mean. In Numbers, in Numbers chapter 13, very familiar. Amen. Praise God. We are going somewhere with it. Pastor Gary often say, stay with me. Walk with me. <laughs> Numbers chapter 13, I want to read, amen, verses 1 through 3. Then I'm going to read 21, and then I'm going to read 26 through 33. I'll repeat all of that as we go to it. Amen. In Numbers chapter 13, verses 1 through 3, and all of this is the King James Version. The word of God says, and the Lord spoke a spake. Amen. Unto Moses saying, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Every tribe of their father shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And in verse 3 it says, And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran. And all those men were heads of the children of Israel. Now let's look at verse 21. Just a portion of it, it says, Amen. So they went up and searched the land. They went up and searched the land. In verse 25, Amen. And we're going to read it on through. Amen. Finish out the chapter. Word of God says, And they returned from searching the land after 40 days. 40 days. 
And in verse 26 it says, And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh, amen, and brought back, amen, word unto them and unto the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And in verse 27 it says, And they told him and said, We came into the land whither thou sentest, where you sent us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. They brought back evidence. Evidence. Ooh, thank you, Lord God. Amen. Uh, Apostle Katie uh, Price. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Awesome man of God. Amen. But even here in the word of God, it says in verse 28, Nevertheless, the people be strong. This is what they said. Nevertheless, however, the people, amen, be strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there, and the Amalekites dwell in the land in the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, they dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea, and by, amen, the coast of Jordan. And in verse 30 it says, And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess, amen, possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. We're able to overcome what you're saying right now. That's basically what he's saying. Amen. In verse 31, it says, But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against these people, for they are stronger than we. And in verse 32, it says, And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land, amen, through which we have gone to search it is a land that eat up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And in verse 33 they said, And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come, amen, of the giants, amen. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. So we were in their sight. Y'all, you know, it's a saying, I still say this saying to this day, what a crying shame. A crying shame. Because you know what? When we go back and look at, amen, as we started out, amen, in Numbers 13, amen, in Numbers 13, starting at verse 1, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, in verse 2, send out men that they may search the land of Canaan, and listen to this, which I give unto the children of Israel. Go search the land that I'm giving you. That's what the Lord said to Moses. Go search, send men out. Go search the land that I'm giving you. Let me tell you, if we're not careful, we'll miss it every time. We'll miss what it is that God has already spoken, what God said he's going to do. And I praise God because this is the thing God is saying. It's, it, this is the way in the word. It's already done. It's already done. I've given you this land. This land is, is your. But go search it out. Go search the land that I'm giving you. Go see what kind of land it is. And even to understand when they searched the land out, they came back. And then after 40 days of searching the land out, and they said, you know, okay, the land, you know, that you told us to search out. Amen. In verse 20, it, 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 it sure enough is flowing with milk and honey. And here's the fruit. They brought back evidence. They brought back evidence. Look at this. And even understand, it took, amen, not a, one person couldn't carry a cluster, a cluster of grapes. You tell me that ain't flowing with milk and honey. But even in all of this, and this is why still again as a people of God, we got to be careful. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, because even the word of God, we started out, we walk by what? Faith. Not by sight, because your eyes will play a trick on you. Yes, they will. Your eyes will tell you, oh, we can't do this. Your eyes talk. Yeah, they do. Your eyes will tell you, oh, look at the giants. There's giants in the land. Your eyes will tell you, thank you, Lord God, what it was telling them. Amen. We saw the giants in the land, and you know what? They're, they're great in stature. We're not able to go against them, even though God already spoke a word and said, go spy out the land that I'm giving you. I'm giving it to you. Go look at what I'm giving you. Go see what, thank you, Lord God, what kind of land it was. 
But here, thank you, Lord God, when they came back with that report, it's still even in the word of God. Caleb, Caleb, amen, he stilled the people before Moses. He said, let us go up at once. Let's go. Let's go and possess it. Let's go and get this land, amen, because we're well able to overcome it. Why are they well able to overcome it? Because God said it was there. Woo! What did God tell you? See, I can't tell you what God has spoken to you. Only you know what God has spoken to you. I know what he's spoken to me. And this is something, thank you, Lord God, that when God give us a word, when there's a word, because that's all you need is one word from the Lord. One word is all you need to change. Amen. Whatever's happening, whatever's going on in your life, just one word. One word. Thank you, Lord God, and understand all it took was one word. After seeing, they gave a good report. All the land is flowing, showed the evidence. And one word changed everything. It changed everything. Because still even understand, God had already spoke the word to Moses. God spoke that word. Send thou man to search out the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. I'm giving you this land. And just to let you know, let's back it up. Amen. In the word of God in Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 6 in the day that I lifted up my hand unto them to bring them amen forth from the land of Egypt this is what the Lord was saying amen into the land that I had espied amen for them the land that he already spotted out the land he already selected flowing with milk and honey which is the glory of all men God was giving them the best Thank you, Lord God. Don't you know that God gives us his best and still again? Woo! Thank you, God. Has he not given us his son? Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. He's already given us. Amen. And to understand, God repeated the promise originally that he had given to Abraham and his covenant descendants. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Renewing it for the generations. Amen. Yet, even though they were in Egypt, it was still God promised to take them, amen, out of Egypt. Amen. Into the land, into Canaan. And he called it, praise God, the glory of all lands. Thank you, Father. I bless God this morning. I don't know again what it is that God has promised you. And this is why we tell you, write it down. You got to write that. You got to write the word, what God speak to you and understand that God watches over his word to perform it. He's going to do his word. Whatever he said he will do, God is going to do it. He doesn't take your Lord God. He's not a man that he shall lie. Never get tired of that one either. God is not a man. He's not human. Who? He's not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he have to repent for what he said. No, God is going to do what he said. You got to hold on to the promise. And you got to remember we walk, amen, by faith. By faith, no matter what it's looking like right now. You're walking by faith, and this is why we say it's already done. It is already done. Let me tell you, Jesus declared it on the cross. He said, it's finished. Oh. He said, it's finished. It's finished. And what you and I, what are we doing? We're walking it out, y'all. Every single day of your life, you get up, you're walking this life. You're walking it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. We walk by faith, not by sight. We're walking this thing out. We're walking it out in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you today. We praise you again, Father, for your word. We thank you for who you are. Your mighty God, your awesome God. Oh, we never get tired of glorifying you, God, giving thanks, giving praise. Because of who you are. Our Savior, Abba, our Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, again for life, health, and strength. Thank you for the active use of our limbs. We praise you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord God, watching over us. Thank you for being a keeper. Thank you not only, Lord God, you are a promise keeper. You are a promise keeper. You keep, Lord God, the promises that you make. God, we thank you. We honor you this day in the mighty match, this name of Jesus. Thank you. We praise you, Father, your sons and daughters. You lift your voices unto him and give thanks. 
because that's still the word of God in everything, no matter what you're in, in everything, give thanks. You got to still know that even no matter what it is, no matter what it looks like, all things are still working together for the good of them who love God, to them who are called. You've been called according to the purpose, the will of God, the will of God. Thank you, Lord God. We give thanks. We give praise, God, to your holy name. We thank you because you're a holy God and you're calling us, Lord God, to be a holy people. We thank you in the name of Jesus, the Holy One of Israel. We thank you. We bless you, Lord God, giving praise, giving thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you today. We praise you today. We glorify you today in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the fruit of our lips bless you and honor you. Thank you, Lord God, wherever you are right now, whatever it is, it's still God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you. You're not thanking him for, amen, the pain. You're not thanking him for, amen, those tragedies. No, you're giving thanks still in the midst of it all. You're still saying, God, I thank you. I thank you because it's the will of God. It's the will of God for us to give praise, to give thanks. And understand that even when you're giving praise and thanks to God, to know that arrows, the arrows that are being shot out against your enemy, the enemy of your soul that has come up against you because you're praising God. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Your praise, it is a weapon. Thank you, God. Your praise is a weapon, thank you, Lord God, against the works of the enemy. You give thanks to God and you bless his name. I still want to encourage you this morning in the name of Jesus. It's already done. It's already done. Walk it out. Walk it out in the name of Jesus. Walk it out. This day is blessed. This is a day we've never seen before. But you got to know this, that God created this day. And because God created this day, this day is blessed. It's blessed. Thank you, Lord God. No matter what the enemy try to bring, no matter what, whoever coming up against you, still again, y'all, it's by the authority of the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that we render, we cause every demonic spirit, every evil attack, every evil altar that's coming up against us, against our health, our families, and even our finances. Helpless. It's still helpless. It's still powerless. It's still inoperative. It's still ineffective. We still decree and declare the word of the Lord. You cannot, amen, you can't afford not to declare the word of the Lord. You got to keep declaring it in the name of Jesus out of your mouth. You have to open up your mouth and declare it loud. In the name of Jesus, Father, you said no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we condemn. So, Father, we thank you and praise you and glorify you this day in the name of Jesus. We know it's already done. And because it's already done, walk it out. Walk it out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. You got to declare it. Amen. Praise God. It's already done. Lord, we thank you for this woman of God this morning. Lord, I, I pray, God, that you will continue to bless her. Strengthen her right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Even as those that are on this line here in agreement with me, God, praying for this woman of God, Lord, that you will continue to keep her, God, flourish her, God, strengthen her, God, build her up, Lord, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for the powerful anointing that's on her life, God. We thank you for how you download, God, the things through her spirit, God, to encourage us every morning, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We give you glory. God, we give you praise. We bind every attack of the enemy against her, Lord, right now, Lord. Every witchcraft spirit, every altar that's been set up against her, every evil and wicked altar, God, is consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The woman of God, we thank God for you. Thank you for the prayer. Thank you for the word of encouragement this morning. Praise God. Listen, as we all go out throughout the day, be encouraged. Encourage others around you. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat and know that you're way more than conquering. You overcome us. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with the purpose and live uh, the purpose-driven life and know that me and the woman of God, we love every last one of y'all. We thank God for you. Go in peace. God bless you. 
Amen. Thank you for the prayer. And let we do what we've done for so many years, y'all. We bounce that right on back up to God. The glory belongs to God. And we thank him for being, amen, a vessel that God has chosen to use in this season and in this hour. Thank you.